From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, they're taking some chili today because it was chilly. This was north of Claremore. Lacey sent this in and said, hey, we had a winter wonderland this morning. Wasn't much snow, but it was enough to remind us it is January. And also up around the Miami area, Dottie sent this in as she's driving down the road. And the road was dry, and she was thankful for that. But again, a lot of gra or a lot of snow accumulated on grass and elevated surfaces. It's one thing we do watch out for for bridges and overpasses when the soil temperatures are warm. But it's deceiving because if the bridge is up there, the cold air is getting on both sides of it and it freezes real quick. And that's one of the reasons why we get icing on bridges and elevated surfaces so fast. Look at the drought monitor right now. Again, east of Highway 69, you're not doing too bad. This is the latest update as of today, but. You get from Bonita, Miami areas back to the west, and then you get into these dark red areas. These are significant. I mean, this is the worst drought you can have. It's still going on, so it hasn't changed. Uh, so we're dealing with that. Most of the clouds are now right along the uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma border areas. Uh, we're looking at temperatures down to 29 in Bonita, 36 in Tulsa, still 44 out at Oklahoma City. Now the storm system came through, also created a big old batch of severe weather and tornadoes across the deep south and southeast. That's winding down right now. Next storm system is just hitting the California coast. We're going to be quiet for a while, but it's cold. And so this air mass isn't going to really leave real fast. So that means tomorrow still is a very, very cold day compared to where we've been, kind of living on the good side of life, the tropical side, I guess, for January's sake. Anyway, this system, as it moves away, we will see another one quickly coming in Monday, or really Sunday night into Monday morning. So we have a slight chance of showers. Should not affect the parade on Monday, but there's another system back there in California as if that's something that they want to see. Uh, but that will come moving through, and so that has a better chance of precipitation here in eastern Oklahoma on Wednesday. Could have some thunderstorms, and again, a few severe storms, and there will be snow across areas to our north and to our west. Skiers delight. That system picks up and moves out, and then by late in the weekend, like Saturday into Sunday, a developing storm system could be moving into Oklahoma. It's going to be cold enough. We could actually have probably some snow again in some of the areas. This is a new outlook that we have. This is giving us an idea of what's expected as we go through the next 21 days. So for the next week and a half or so, we're really gonna be warmer than normal. Right at the end of January here, we go to normal, which is cold. And then the beginning of February isn't exactly what we wanted to see, but there is a cold wave coming right now. Our models are pretty uh, consistent and persistent on seeing some really cold air to kick off the beginning of the month of February. All right, light is out there still a little bit longer because the days are getting a little bit longer. We're at 36 degrees. We have a light north-northwest wind at 8 miles per hour. Metro temperatures are generally in the low 40s with 30s to the east. We're already at freezing around the prior area, almost there in Claremore. Tomorrow morning, frosty cold. A lot of frost in the windshield tomorrow morning, so you're going to get up early. 40s in the afternoon. The good news is sunshine, light winds, that'll make it so much better. Saturday looks great. Temperatures will be in the 50s. Winds will start to pick up in the afternoon. And then Sunday's a mix of clouds, but we will be into the 60 to 65 degree range. So that'll be nice. So the weekend overall is looking pretty good. And Monday for Martin Luther King Day, temperatures will be in the 60s and partly sunny. That doesn't happen too often. All right, forecast looks like this. 34 tonight, cold. If you're in outlying areas, you're in the upper 20s. Some of you already are. 25 in the morning in Tulsa, low to mid 20s. Need some coat. The only good thing is the winds will be very light, and that's a very helpful thing for our area. And then we get that nice weekend, and then Martin Luther King Day, and then it's still not too bad. Then late next week is when that cold air tries to start moving in. Best chance of rain on Wednesday. That's us look at your forecast. We'll be right back.